hello everyone you are welcome to best notes tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about Ernest Hemingway Ernest Hemingway was an American novelist journalist and short story writer and sportsman he was born on July uh, 21 1899 Oak Park Illinois US so first in uh, we can say first fact is he was an American novelist and uh, second thing he was born in 1899 he got some prize like Pulitzer prize for fiction in 1953 and nobel prize in literature in 1954 his spouses were hadley and pauline martha and mary he died on uh, july 2nd 1961 he was aged 61 that time and in u.s his important works which are usually asked are first is the sun also rises and uh, it is also called fiesta or fair of uh, farewell to arms the most important than the old men and the sea uh, we will see some uh, information about the works the sun also rises got published in 1926 this novel portrays american uh, expatriates who travel from paris to uh, festival of saint Fermin in Pamplona to watch the running of the bulls and the bullfights. Uh, so novel ki jo story hai, wo American expatriates ki hai, jo ki jo travel karte hain bullfight uh, dekhne ke liye. And this got published in United States in October 1926 by Scribners. So Scribners ne isko publish kiya tha. इसमें कुछ जो कैरेक्टर्स हैं कैरेक्टर लिस्ट देख लेते हैं एंड यू विल फाइंड दीज स्टोरीज एंड समरीज ऑफ दीज वर्क्स इन ड्रामा सेक्शन सो फर्स्ट इज द जैक बर्नेस द नैरेटर एंड प्रोटेगनिस्ट ऑफ द नॉवल सो जैक बर्नेस इज द नैरेटर एंड प्रोटेगनिस्ट ऑफ द नॉवल एंड जैक इज एन अमेरिकन वेटरन ऑफ वर्ल्ड वॉर फर्स्ट वर्किंग ऑन जर्नलिस्ट इन पेरिस वेयर ही एंड हिज फ्रेंड इंगेज इन एंडलेस राउंड ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग एंड पार्टीज ऑल दो जैक इज मोस्ट स्टेबल ऑफ हिज फ्रेंड्स ही स्ट्रगल विद एंगश ओवर हिज लव फॉर लेडी पैरट एच हिज इम्पोर्टेंस एंड द मॉरल वैक्यूम दैट रिजल्टेड फ्रॉम द वॉर सो दिस इज द प्रोटेगनिस्ट एंड यू ऑनली नीड टू नो दिस वन Next one is uh, Lady Barrett Ashley, a beautiful British uh, socialist who drinks heavily. As the novel begins, Brett is separated from her husband and awaiting a uh, divorce. Though she loves Jack, she is unwilling to commit to a relationship with him because it will mean giving up uh, sex. So the next, uh, we can say the heroine of the work is Lady Bar Brett Ashley. If we talk about the theme of the work, uh, the first is aimlessness of the lost generation. Uh, second is male insecurity and the third one is destructiveness of sex. Next work is uh, Farewell to Arms, uh, which got published in 1929. It is a novel uh, set during the Italian campaign of World War I. The Italian campaign jo World War First के time में था उसके time में लिखी हुई A Farewell to Arms लिखी गई है First published in 1929 It is a first person account of an American Frederick Henry तो इसमें जो हम protagonist का हैं तो उसमें Frederick Henry है और इसी ने इसको narrate किया है Serving a lieutenant in the ambulance corps of the Italian army Italian army may work left in it the title is taken from the poem of the 16th century English dramatist George Pile George Pile ki poem hai 16th century ki university wits me na university wits ka part hai to usse jo hai a farewell to arms liya gaya hai uh, the novel set against the backdrop of World War I describes a love affair between the expatriate Henry. Here, this word has come before, expatriate. So, expatriate means that there are some people who are in exile, who usually live in their native country, and they are called expatriate. And if we look at it in short form, it is expat. So, expat uh, Henry and an English nurse, Catherine Barclay. So, there are two characters, Catherine Barclay. एंड फ्रेडरिक हैं 
the book became his first bestseller and has been called the premier American war novel from the uh, debacle World War First. So, in his is jo work hai aapka, iska the isko the premier American war novel bhi kaha jata hai. A farewell to arms ko. Uh, next is the character Lieutenant uh, jo aapka Frederick Henry hai. The novel's narrator and protagonist, he is the protagonist, a uh, young American ambulance driver, Italian army during World War I, is ke baare humne dekha. and Henry meets his uh, military during with quite stoicism. Uh, he displays courage in battle, but his selfless motivation undermines all sense of glory and heroism, a strict term for uh, which Henry have little patience. His life lacks real passion until he meets the beautiful Catherine Barclay. Catherine Barclay, who is an English nurse, it's who falls in love with Henry, who is Henry ke saath unhe pyar ho jata hai. Catherine is exceptionally beautiful and possesses perhaps the most sensually uh, described hair in all of literature. And unke jo beautiful hair hai, uh, unke jo khubsurat baal hai, usse describe kiya gaya hai. When novel opens, uh, Catherine's grief for her uh, dead fiancé launches her headlong into a playful uh, though reckless game of seduction. And uh, her feeling for Henry soon intensify and become more complicated. However, she eventually swears a lifelong fidelity to him. So, uh, these are the characters, important characters. If we talk about the themes, uh, the grim reality of war and uh, the relationship between love and pain. So these are the themes of the works and now let's come to the next work. Next work is The Old Man and the Sea. The Old Man and the Sea is a short novel written by American author Ernest Hemingway in 1951 in Cuba and published in 1952. Ye 1951 mein likhi thi, 1952 mein ye thi, the old man and the sea it was the last major work of fiction written by hemingway that was published during his lifetime to inka last major work hai. one of his most famous work it tells the story of santiago ye bahut baar pucha jata hai ye ki santiago kis work mein hai ya kis uh, kis uh, novel ka character hai to santiago jo hai wo Aapka the old man and the sea ka character hai aur uh, ise create kiya tha Ernest Hemingway mein an aging Cuban fisherman to aur jo Santiago hai wo kya hai aapka fisherman hai ye bhi aap logon ko yaad rakhna hai who struggles with a giant marlin uh, far out in the gulf stream of the coast of Cuba aur ek giant marlin uh, ke piche wo struggle karta hai in 1953 old man and the sea was awarded the Pulitzer prize for Fiction and it was cited by Nobel Committee for contributing to their awarding of Nobel Prize in Literature to Hemingway in 1954. So, in 1954, Nobel Prize in Hemingway. Character list first is the Santiago. Uh, Santiago, the old man of the novella's title. So, the novella is the Old man hai, uska naam Santiago hai, jaisa ki humne pehle bhi dekha. Santiago is a Cuban fisherman. Ye fisherman hai, who has had an uh, extended run of bad luck. Despite uh, his expertise, he has been unable to catch a fish for 84 days. Or, lagbhag 84 din ke liye unhe kya nahi milta, koi fish wo nahi pakad paate hain. He is humble, yet uh, exhibits a justified pride in his abilities. His knowledge of sea and his creatures and of his craft is unparalleled and helped him preserve a sense of hope regardless of circumstances or uh, unka jo sense of hope hai wo kafi jyada hai unke andar throughout his life santiago has been presented with contests to test his strength and endurance now or apni throughout life unhone puri life mein apna jo test diya tha wo strength or endurance ke liye the Marlin with which he struggles for three days represents his greatest challenge. Or the Marlin hai, uske piche usne kafi interest ki, uh, struggle kiya. Na to unka ek greatest challenge ke roop mein wahan pe aata hai. Paradoxically, although Santiago ultimately loses uh, the fish, the Marlin is also his greatest victory. Or uh, jo Marlin hai, usko wo catch kar leta hai. 
the Marlin Santiago hooks the Marlin, which we learn at the end of the novella, measures 18 feet. Kitni lambi hoti hai? Now it was 18 feet on the first afternoon of his fishing expedition. Because of Marlin's great size, Santiago is unable to pull the fish in, and uh, the two become engaged in kind of tug of war that often seems more like an alliance than a uh, struggle. और काफी बड़ी जो फिश है उसको लेने के लिए भी उसे काफी स्ट्रगल करना पड़ता है। The fishing line serves as a symbol of fraternal connection Santiago feels with the fish, and the fishing line जो फिशिंग लाइन है वो एक तरह से सिंबल होती है उनके बीच में जो उनका स्ट्रगल है वो कहीं न कहीं एक दूसरे का हम कह सकते हैं उन दोनों के बीच में कनेक्शन बन जाता है। when uh, the captured Marlin is later destroyed by sharks, Santiago feels destroyed as well. Uh, last May, the shark has destroyed Marlin. Ko. Like Santiago, the Marlin is implicitly compared to Christ. And the Marlin has been compared to Christ. Kiya gaya hai. So, uh, these are the important works by uh, Ernest Hemingway. And you should remember only these facts at least for uh, your exam, LT and uh, TGT and PGT level. We'll see the another writer and these stories will be given in drama sections. If you, uh, you want to go through the whole summary and uh, the character analysis. So with this we end this session. See you in next video.